how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Sounds good to me. If you're here looking for high-level competitive play, you're in the wrong place. If you're looking to see Dark Side Phil become a top-level player and take on all the greats online, it's not gonna happen. I guarantee you, 10 times out of 10, if I play a notable player in this game, they're gonna beat me. Because these guys are playing hardcore, they're trying to get competitive, they're gonna go to tournaments. I don't care about that anymore. But I'm into the, the game from a perspective of, I love Street Fighter, I want to be a part of this new one, because I've been out of the Street Fighter scene for how many years? Seven, eight years? Why? Because Street Fighter 6 sucked. Excuse me, Street Fighter 5 sucked. I hated Street Fighter 5. I bought the ultimate edition of the game. Can you unlock everything for free? Yes. But it takes a ton of time. For example, to unlock Outfit 2 for any character, you have to play through the single player... Let's try that again. You have to play through the single player world tour mode. You have to get to the trainer of the character you want. So let's say you want E Honda's alternate outfit. You have to find E Honda in world tour, and you have to master that fighter. Meaning you have to do tons of missions for them. You have to gift them items in the game to raise your affinity with them. And I've been reading reviews... And most reviews are saying the story mode takes about roughly 15 to 20 hours to get through. And if you want to max out a character, it takes a lot of work. Some people said they pretty much max maybe one to two characters, if that, during story mode. So now imagine you want all the tier two outfits. How much time and effort is that going to take? So can you technically do it for free? Yes. Do you have 50 hours to waste? I know I don't. So that's why kind of having these, uh, you know, credits is very important. Uh, at the launch of the game here. So, I got the ultimate mode. It's kind of a commitment. It means that not only am I going to play the game here at launch, but later in the year when the new characters come out, I'm going to try those out too. Um, and so I've done that. Alright, I've invested. And I hope that the investment pays off. I really do. Man, Phil really keeps asking for contributions too much. Man, this guy's all about just raising money on every stream. What's hilarious is someone says you're really bad at Street Fighter V. I wouldn't even, I didn't even play Street Fighter V enough to say that I even know how to play it. You understand that, right? Like, Street Fighter V, I played for maybe two, three weeks at launch, and it was so laggy and messy, I hated it. And then every once in a while, I would go back to play it, like, for, for a session or two, and that was it. I never liked the game enough to give it time to even care about it. So, of course, I was bad at it. I didn't even understand it. I hated it. Every system in that game was terrible. V-Trigger, it was all shit. It was a horribly designed game. Anyway. <clears throat> you're my sponsors. You guys and gals out there who watch the content and support it, especially during these live streams. Today is the premiere of Street Fighter VI. <clears throat> it would absolutely be amazing if you could like the stream. Giving the stream more likes will enable more people to find the stream and watch me play. In addition, any kind of support is greatly appreciated. A super chat or a super sticker, a great way to support this channel through the YouTube system itself, and you get a pop-up for those contributions. Uh, a membership, a renewed membership, or a gifted membership to the community. Great ways to support and help. By the way, there's probably going to be a lot more people watching me today than usual, so it would be a great opportunity if you wanted to help the community to give some memberships to the channel. Today would definitely be the day for that, okay? In addition, uh, tips are great. It's immediate short-term support. Allows me to afford stuff coming up. I just dropped over $100 on this game. I'll be buying Diablo next week. Um, it'll help with that kind of stuff. Please consider tipping, all right? Tipping, since it helps so much in the short-term, I give you guys short-term benefits. So, for example, if you raise 50 bucks today, I'll put on Gunner Glasses. Raise $100, you'll get to pick a silly hat. It, it's all about this first, and then the content second. Flex my biceps to prove that this isn't pre-recorded. You can't see I'm wearing... Look, how can you see my biceps? Here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that big meaty arm right there, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to say thanks, guys. They're obviously, really supportive start. Haven't even booted the game up yet. And to see this many people on stream, to see this level of support already is outstanding. Remember, this is how I make my living. Support on the stream, so please support the stream if you can today. I'll be playing it all this first stream to 4 p.m. Pacific time. Then tonight, another stream starting 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. Tomorrow, all day long. Tomorrow, probably on the late stream, I'll start World Tour mode and see what that's all about. We've got a lot of content coming this weekend. Man, Phil really keeps asking for contributions too much. Explanation, controls, already we're getting annoying pop-ups, so let's quit out and see if we can stop the pop-ups. I knew that was gonna happen, by the way. Stupid. It really is stupid that they don't plan for this stuff. Obviously, people are gonna stream your game. They don't want constant pop-ups on their screens. So why did you make it? There's no option. On options, everything's set to private now. So there's nothing else. I've done everything I can do. 
to make everything private. If I keep getting invites, there's literally nothing I can do about it. So we just gotta ignore it now, right? That's incredibly stupid. <clears throat> Alright, anyway, here we go. So, we want to do... See? This is gonna keep popping up, I guarantee it. Good thing you can't see the names, though. But, um, alright. So... There's the salt! The delicious salt! $5 for 250 coins, and each outfit costs 50. So you can buy outfit 2. For $5, you get 5 outfit 2s. If you wanted to get everyone's outfit 2, it's 50 per character. So that would be 900. So for $24, you can buy everyone's outfit 2 in the game. $24. <laughs> I mean, I want some of the outfit 2s. In particular for Blanca, it kind of looks the same, I don't care. But for other characters, I'm absolutely going to want to buy their outfit 2s. And it looks like, can you not actually just get them in game? Right? Sheesh. Well, I'm not gonna do this right now. But I might consider it for outfit twos. You know? That's pretty ridiculous. Alright, so we bought a new color for Blanca. <laughs> I'm a brain dead idiot. Look, by the way, as I said, look, it never stops. The pop-ups continue. So I can't play the game. I literally can't play the game. I'm gonna have these non-stop pop-ups no matter what. How the hell do you turn this off? <laughs> right? I, how am I going to play this? I literally can't play it. Because there's non-stop pop-ups on my screen. <laughs> there's got to be a way to turn it off, and I hope someone will tell me how to do it. Because I don't know where you do it from. Give me some of the salt. Give me that salt. Mm. So once again, look. Look how ridiculous this is. The pop-ups still continue even in the combo trials? This is stupid. How am I supposed to do a combo trial? This is going to block my screen, right? There's got to be a way to turn this off. There has to be, right? This is insanity. How am I going to do a combo trial? It's going to block my inputs. <laughs> right? Just, I want you to think how dumb this sounds. Accept, accept the request, then block. If I accept the request, then they're on a friends list with me. Why would I accept the fucking request? And then every troll would send me a request, and I have to accept every one to block. That doesn't make any sense. That's stupidity. No, you're not you're accepting trolls onto your friends list. <laughs> right? Well, I guess uh, I'm just going to unplug the fucking console and we'll do training mode with, or, uh, you know, trials with Blanca. And then we'll go online with Blanca, right? Accept, then block, and then they're not on your friends list anymore. Well, all right, let's just try it for just for, for a test purpose, right? So, become friends. Friend application does not exist. Look, I can't even remove it because it says the friend application does not exist. <laughs> wow, what a great game, huh? Yeah, they really thought this one through. Yeah. So there's no way to stop it besides unplugging your console because these people can't make a game in 2023. And it's amazing. Spent $100 on this game. <laughs> That's really amazing. Alright, well, fuck them. Here you go. Fuck your mother. <laughs> Dude. All right, I got a dollar tip. Do you turn off notifications on the website? Oh my god. Well, yeah, apparently I gotta go to the Capcom ID website to try to do this. I'll try it. I don't know if it's gonna work because I don't even remember what the fucking login is, right? No, look, it didn't even work. It didn't even work. <laughs> it doesn't work at all. I got a friend request anyway. Look. It doesn't work. So they have a whole system to do it and it doesn't do anything. Isn't that hilarious? And what's going on? What the hell? The game crashed. Look. The game just closed. <laughs> <laughs> the game fucking closed. I'll do rank matches on. Look at this, it's so fucked up. The pop-up blocks your fucking menu you're trying to look at. Why, how idiotic can you be to make a pop-up on your screen you can't move and it blocks your fucking settings you need to mess with? You've got to be a fucking idiot to make the game like this. I don't even know what else to say. There's still this back here. 
and it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind, and it's always telling me. It's WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone. Just gone like that. In an instant. Fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality.